What's up guys, it's Nimbus here, back with another One Piece video, and today I just wanted to make a discussion video on what might have happened to Big Mom and Kaido, and what might happen to them going forward in the story if they do in fact play a role. With the recent defeat of these two Yonkos, there have been a lot of questions left in their wake, the most important ones being what exactly happened to them, and what is the future in the story, or if they even have a future in the story. In other words, are they really dead? I thought I'd discuss my thoughts on the various ways Oda can take their stories and if it's a good idea to really have them killed off. Because my thoughts are a little more collected and set in stone for her, I think I'd like to start by discussing Big Mom. Ever since her flashback we got back in Whole Cake Island, I've been a supporter of the idea of her playing a main role in the eventual Elbaf storyline. But since then, my viewpoint on this has become less concrete, specifically because she did end up coming to Wano and now she's been defeated by people who are comparative, but obviously lesser than Luffy. So having her as a main antagonist, if that was her intended role in Elbath, wouldn't be as fulfilling. At least in the sense that she wouldn't be as threatening of a force when it comes to battle power, because Luffy has already proven himself to be on the previous Yonko power level. Oda still has a lot of potential with her character, but to be honest, I really wouldn't want her to play a main role in the story again unless it was to further develop and progress her as a character. I do not want to see her being used in the ways that she was used in Totland and even in Wano. I dare say even more so in Wano if she's going to play a role in future arcs. If Big Mom does come back for the Elbaf arc, there are a few things I want to see. One, her learning about what she did to Mother Carmel and the other kids. Two, her learning what Mother Caramel actually did. What I mean by that is I want her to find out that Mother Caramel actually sold orphan children to the world government to use it, be used as CP agents. And lastly, I would like one of her children to be involved. Specifically, one of the ones that we've seen the detrimental effects from the traumatizing manner in which they were raised, because it'd be an interesting way where we can get a full circle moment where one of the children can actually get closure and kind of acceptance of Big Mom because they'd be able to learn exactly how she was raised and kind of what led her to be the way that she is today, making her think that the way she raises her own children isn't something that should be looked down upon or isn't weird or torturing in any way. The first people that come to mind for me would be Lola and Pudding, but there's definitely a case that can be made for a lot of other of her children. These three things would give Big Mom the best chance of having some sort of development in my opinion. Having her learn about what actually happened when she was a kid would definitely break her, and if she were to actually accept it as fact, it might help her realize all of the other messed up stuff she's done. Because without a doubt, Big Mom is a terrible person. But how much of it does Big Mom actually realize isn't very clear. At least Oda hasn't made it very clear. We know she sort of is dumb in the sense that she doesn't realize that she's doing wrong. And a lot has to do with her going into her little phases, her little modes, her hunger pangs, whatever, whatever. But when she's completely conscious and in a calm state, does she know that she's looked at as a tyrant in Totland? whether she wants to accept it or not? Does she know that she's basically feared by the entire world, even though she has a dream that realistically a lot of people in the world would want to see happen if it was done by someone else in a more reasonable way, in a more moral way, and maybe even a less selfish way. But that last one is honestly a bigger discussion because at the end of the day, Luffy's goal and dreams might be completely selfish to himself. So, and I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. But regardless of that, if Big Mom does survive and she is brought back into the main storyline, I don't want it to be just to be like a big bad again because she's already played that role two arcs in a row now and it's kind of getting old especially when she hasn't progressed since her flashback which really wasn't progression, it's more of just development as in setting up what her character was and how she got to where she is. She hasn't had any progression in the current storyline and I definitely think that's a problem when she's been around for two super long arcs. So definitely if she's gonna come back, I want it to be for development of her and her whole family as a whole. And there's one person I forgot to mention, which is Strusel, who's basically the person who set her on the path that she's on right now. And if we are gonna get character development from her, I almost 100% guarantee that he's gonna be a part of it in some way. Now, in my opinion, do I think she's dead and do I think it'd be good to leave her dead? Um, she just might be dead. I really feel like Oda is trying to wrap up the story and I think if Oda still has Big Mom as a card to play, that should definitely get brought back into the story at some point because I don't think he'd be able to help himself and that would just further extend the time he'll be writing One Piece and I honestly don't think he wants to do that. Now, do I think it's a good thing for her to be dead? No, not really because I do want her character to be wrapped up. I want to get some sort of closure on her. I don't want her to just be some 
relic from the past that we had to get rid of as a new generation being Luffy, La, Kid, Blackbeard, and then the rest of the worst generation. I actually want her to have some sort of growth maybe, even if she does end up dying in the end. I don't want her to be a static character from the moment she introduced. It would leave a sort of bitter aftertaste in my mouth, I guess, about her. And it'd be honestly be pretty hard for me to talk about her in a good light after her just being left as essentially a big bad and nothing else. But yeah guys, that's basically my thoughts on Big Mom. Before we get into Kaido, go down in the comments below and let me know what you think about her. Do you think she's actually dead? How do you like how she's been handled in the story so far? And if she isn't dead, how do you want her to be handled in the future? But with that being said, let's just move on to Kaido. Kaido's a really interesting character to me. And through the Wano arc and Onigashima, I've really grown to like him and he was steady moving up my favorite character's ranking. Like at this point, I'm not really sure, but he damn near broke my top 5 towards the peak of the Onigashima arc. And I honestly have a lot to say about him, but I do plan on making a video. Well, I've been planning on making a video for a long time, I guess, actually. Basically since, the, since I started this channel, whenever that was. Just because I was kind of fascinated with him. I don't know why, maybe it's because he was such like a lurking villain. Like we knew we were going to face him at some point. It was just kind of building up to him. So I really just wanted to learn more about him. But I kept pushing it back because I was like, oh, we're going to learn more. We're going to learn more. We're going to learn more. And then like, I made, I made a full video. I made a full video discussing him before we got his flashback. Stupid motorcycle passing by. So yeah, I made a video discussing him before we got his flashback. And I just never edited it. I recorded it and everything. And I really just felt like we were going to get more. It's because he kept saying something. He kept hinting at something. Oda kept hinting at something deeper with it. And then we got his flashback. Now, I'm not going to say his flashback was bad or terrible. But it definitely left a lot to be desired. Maybe I was building my expectations too high. I'm not really sure. But I just felt something bigger coming. And honestly, Oda just didn't pay off. Now, what does any of this have to do with the current topic of this video? which is his future in the story and if he's actually dead. Well, in the same way that I just wanted more from Big Mom, more development, more characterization, I feel that for Kaido as well, but to a, a much, much greater extent, probably like 10 to 20 times more than I feel for Big Mom. And it's probably due to me actually liking Kaido as a character, like his design, his fighting style, his devil fruit, the way he thinks, the role he's played in the story so far, and basically anything else to do with him. So I think that all really just makes me want him to come back in the story in some way, shape, or form. Whether it's him in the current storyline still being alive, still being around, doing something, or we learn a lot more about him through flashbacks. I think that's where most people are standing now, after his flashback, after his defeat. Because they, I think a lot of people just really, they're done with Big Mom and Kaido. It's like, we moved on to the end of the story. That's what everyone's been saying. That's what the editor's been saying. That's what Oda's been saying. So I think everyone's ready basically to just throw Big Mom and Kaido beh behind them and worry about what's coming up next. And what they do want, they feel like can be handled in a flashback. And with Kaido, they specifically think it can be handled with the Rocks flashback if we do ever get that. I have two problems with one. I think it would have been a thousand times more satisfying if we got Kaido's complete storyline now. Or not now, but before he was defeated. Because you could even look at someone like Ace, where you got most of his story after he died. It wasn't as satisfying. Now, if you look back, it's fine, because we already know. So we can watch Marine Ford knowing what we know now. And we get the same feeling. Probably, for a lot of people, they feel even worse about what happened in Marine Ford. So in the long run, it's not really a bad thing. But right now, how I'm feeling right now, it's not a great feeling, specifically towards Kaido, not One Piece as a whole, but towards Kaido is not the feeling I wanted to be feeling after he was defeated. And my second problem with this is Oda has been cutting a lot. At least it's been seeming like he's been cutting a lot. We can't know for sure, but compared to how he's told the rest of his stories, how we just randomly add little things that didn't even matter, but now it seems like we're not even getting some of the most important things we thought we'd get with these arcs. It's kind of concerning whether or not we'd actually get a full Rocks flashback. And if we do, will Oda take the time to go in depth on someone like Kaido when he most likely won't be the main focus of it? It'll be Rocks, it'll be Roger, it'll be Garp. And I know a lot of people feel the same way I do about that. That's really all I have to say about Kaido right now. I need a nap, I gotta go to work. But that's all I have to really have to say about Kaido right now until I go into a full in-depth video on him. Do I think he should be dead? I think this arc should have ended with him dying, yes. Am I satisfied with it? No, not right now. 
Do I want him to play a role going forward in the story? Not as a living person, or at least that's not what I wanted coming into this arc. But being on the flip side of Onigashima, we defeated Kaido, we defeated Big Mom. I'm kind of hoping he's still alive so I can get more satisfaction with his closure of his character. Whichever way Oda does it, if he does in fact give Kaido more development, more closure, more in-depth characterization, I just really hope I'm not disappointed in a character I've really grown to love. But that's basically all for this video guys. I have a little bit to talk about about my channel and videos going forward, but most of you probably won't care so just don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment telling me your thoughts on this topic. Do you think Big Mom and Kaido are alive? What role do you think they're gonna play going forward? Yeah guys, if you like, just don't forget to like. I really appreciate it. And if you do care, stick around and I'll discuss. So it's been a long time since I've posted five months. I know I don't really get viewers and I have subscribers, but I do like doing this and I was doing it fairly often before I stopped. So I think I'm going to go about this channel a little bit differently, a little more freeform for the most part, and then I'll have videos that I'll be taking my time on and going more in depth on the story as an analysis based thing rather than a review style channel. I don't want to just review every chapter and discuss an entire chapter that I don't really care that much about. And not that I don't have fun reading almost every chapter of One Piece, I just don't really have much to talk about that isn't random. Now at some point if I can do live streams and do live reaction, that is something I really want to do. But making the video review is just not something I really want to do in a sense. So they, I will still have them, but they won't be formatted the same way. And a lot of my content like that will be a little more freeform, kind of in a sense feeling more like a live stream style video or a reaction style video instead of a edited review in quotation marks because that's not really what it felt like it kind of felt like me just saying this about the chapter or saying this happened in chapter my thoughts on it this happened in chapter my thoughts on it and i don't think everything deserves as much time as other things and it felt like i was doing that in my videos but i am really excited about the more analytical videos they're probably going to be a lot longer better editing so on and so forth and if you like those type of videos, I already have a few going back on my channel. I think a lot of them are really good. My favorite video I've probably ever made is probably my Blackbeard one. Well, it's not Blackbeard. It's more about dreams and death and kind of how they relate and how Blackbeard and Luffy will play into those themes that Oda's been playing with throughout the whole story. So I'll link that below. Go check it out. That's my son. He's with me. He's sitting right with me while I'm recording. He's nice. That's basically it. You want to say goodbye, Julie? Say bye bye. He's waving. <laughs> Alright, guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Later.